Good morning, Miss Dara here, and guess what time it is? It's story time. Let's see what treasure we're going to read today. Ooh, this is called The Vowel Family, A Tale of Lost Letters. Ooh, let's check it out. This is by Sally M. Walker. When Pam Smith married Sam Val, she said, life's wonderful, except when talking. Sam said, talking is very hard. And take a look at when they try and talk. They're missing all the vowels in the words. So they don't know. The vowels are missing. Let's see if we can help them. Pam realized something was wrong. And she's trying to say, please hand me the bread. Let's make toast. And he's saying what? Because when they're talking to each other, those are all constant. There's no vowels. So let's see as we go through if we can find the vowels. After Alan and Ellen, the twins were born, their parents giggled with glee. Alan and Ellen's clear speech made sense. Alan starts with the vowel A, and Alan starts with the vowel E. So we found two vowels. Let's see if we can find more. At school, when the teacher asked Alan's name, he stated, call me Alan Val. Life was better, but it wasn't perfect. Our family lacks zest, declared Alan and Ellen. Papa, Mama, we want pets. We'll get a cat and an ape, answered Sam, and an elephant and an egret, added Pam. Okay, so there they are in class. Things are, they're okay, but we're still missing some vowels. And this says, exotic pets are us, but you can tell it's still missing some vowels. Let's see what pets they end up with. Oh, so let's see. Alan has an A, which starts with an A. Alan has an elephant, which starts with an E. There's a cat that has an A in it. We have an egret, which has an E in it. So two of each of these four pets needed those vowels, or they wouldn't be able to get them. Growing children need vegetables and good food. Sam was a master chef. Dad prepares delectable breakfast, Alan declared. Let's have pancakes and scrambled eggs, added Ellen. Not this morning. We have no eggs. Our flour and butter are gone, Pam answered. What? asked Sam. This just isn't acceptable. Something's still missing. All right, so they're still trying to talk to each other, but they're not understanding each other yet. We need more vowels. Conditions improved after Iris and Otto, another pair of twins, joined the family. So Iris starts with the letter I, and Otto starts with an O. Those are two more vowels. So now we have I am Sam Val, I am Pam Val, I am Alan Val, I am Ellen Val, I am Iris Val, and I am Otto Val. So now they can understand each other. They can talk to each other. At last, people comprehended the vowels, so they understood them. When the vowels said their names, life became precise, exceptional, and of course, Otto and Iris got pets too. Can you guys guess what kind of pets they might get? Let's see. An insect, an ibex, an otter, and a campy. So... We have the ibex. Let's see if we can find the insect. Let's see. 
I think he might be high. Oh, there it is. There's the insect. Kind of like a cool little ladybug there. We have the Okampi and the Otter. Those animals need I and O to start their names. However, when Alan tried to enter with a Triceratops, Sam stamped his foot. I guess that was too many. Too many animals. Look how many animals they have in their house. Okay, so Dad's saying, cut it out. No more animals in this post. That's confusing. We're flummoxed. I'm baffled. So Dad tried to say something, right? Sam Val tried to say something, and they don't understand it. I think we might be missing one more vowel. Let's see. Thank goodness. Ursula chose just that moment to be born. Ursula, born speaking because miracles do occur, pronounced her first words with care. Although I trust we would also acquire a duck and a unicorn, it's obvious that Dad said cut it out. No more animals in this house. Ursula starts with a U. So she was able to fill in the missing vowels. Puffed at pride at his daughter's dialogue, Sam hugged all his children. Alan, Alan, Iris, Otto and Ursula, our lives are complete. There we go. They're complete. They found all their vowels. Let's see, I think there is another little part to this story. But guess what? I think we'll save it for next time. So we have all our vowels. We have A. Right? We have E, we have I, we have O, and we have U. And we're going to see what they need to do next. They have all those animals. I wonder if they need to do something. We'll have to see. I hope you've enjoyed this book so far. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of the Val family. Stay tuned. Bye.